What you're about to hear is a phone conversation with Dave Simeone, Senior Product Manager, Civil Products for Autodesk. I'm Ralph Bond, and in the conversation to follow, Dave discusses the new functionality for importing and visualizing point clouds found in the Subscription Advantage Pack for AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. Dave, I understand that the Civil 3D 2010 Subscription Advantage Pack offers new functionality for importing and visualizing point clouds. Tell us about that. You bet. Yeah, we're, we're really excited about what we've been able to accomplish in support of point cloud support within engineering applications like Civil 3D. What we're introducing in this subscription advantage pack is the ability for somebody to import a point cloud um, as a native object within Civil 3D. It's actually something that's included in map, the map subscription advantage pack as well. The goal really is to really have our users be able to start consuming point clouds directly in their design and mapping products. So I like to think of it as it's, it's really a virtual survey, right? This is, this is what existed out in the real world as it was scanned. I mean, you have all the features that are, that are out there. You could take a classified point cloud. In other words, classification means there's differentiation between things like buildings and trees and vegetation and, and cars and so on. And then you could extract features out of it on your own. You can use it really as a visual reference. And again, it's, it's really, I think, the, f the first step in really us as engineers being able to consume, directly consume that rich information part of the design process. Dave, let's put this into a, a little more perspective. And what I mean by that is describe how it was before this new capability with the Advantage Pack came along and how it's changed. In other words, as I understand it, to bring point cloud data into Civil 3D in the past, you would have to use some third-party software, and the end result of that process of going through, I'll call it the middleman software, as it were, would be a, a kind of dumbing down of the point cloud data. You would lose some of the depth of the data and so on. And how does this new set of functionality improve that uh, capability? There's really been a couple of flaws with the, the way all applications, quite frankly, have worked with point cloud data up until now. One, you have a scalability issue, right? The, uh, point clouds can be millions, billions of points, you know, incredibly dense amount of, of you know, 3D information along the length of a road or a rail project or if it's flown across vast area. So one, you had restrictions in just how much of that information, how many of those points you could physically bring into AutoCAD or any, any CAD environment. You also had where the point cloud would be converted into something that, as you said, dumbs it down. I think it, you know, another way to look at it is that it puts it in a, in a form that's not necessarily correct for the point cloud. For instance, there's some, you know, the third-party applications and some of the different tools that are out there would actually create a, a TIN or a triangulated irregular network that is it's more of a traditional civil engineering or mapping surface. And it's really not well suited for, one, the vast amount of data and also, to some of the, some of the specifics of, of what you're going to find in a point cloud. And then I think the final part of this is, as you said, you lose quite a bit of, the, of what makes a point cloud so special, right? Like I talked about classification being able to um, have different elements that can be turned off within a point cloud, or being able to have image in information associated with each point. So you actually get not only a, a 3D model, but you also get something that looks like it looked out in the real world. I mean, all of those types of things were lost by, by not natively viewing the point cloud within the, within the CAD environment. So what you get in Civil 3D now is the ability to actually have an object that's purpose-built to represent that point cloud. So number one, it, it can handle the much larger amounts of data. So it's, it's far more scalable because it's optimized for how we're going to want to display a point cloud. Two, it can, we don't need to try to make a, a tin model that's going to, one, be inappropriate, and two, probably not be able to be, uh, you know, just from a scalability standpoint, probably isn't feasible. And three, it lets us stylize it so that you're going to get, you're going to be able to display different things and pull different things out of that cloud. And also just, I think, really more intelligently use it in the design process. Dave, as I've been listening to you, I'm, I'm stepping back and kind of looking at the bigger picture. For me, these enhancements, these point cloud enhancements in the subscription advantage pack for Civil 3D 2010 mean that we're going to have improvements in the digital model workflow from the surveyor now into Civil 3D and on into the rest of what we could call the building information modeling, digital model centric way of working. What's your perspective on that? Yeah, I, I think that's, that's dead on. What we're really seeing here is 
the 3D virtual model that's being developed by the survey professionals being able to be used directly by the design professionals or for analysis or for other people who are involved in the process. I think the reality is this first phase of point cloud support that will include in civil 3D really is it's kind of the first step towards towards a, a you know a, a more complete acceptance of of that virtual model in the process. But I think what you'll start to see going forward is 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 how more information and more intelligence from that model can can flow into design or for other uses and how it can be used more directly in the design process. So again, for me one of the key things on a bit BIM-based workflow is that the, the information that you're working on or the models that you're creating are going to be usable by somebody downstream, and there's a connection between all of that. And this is a great example, right? This, this point cloud is something that is going to be pulled together in a way that then can be used in many, many different ways by people downstream. For more information, visit www.autodesk.com forward slash advantage packs.